Um, Caitlin is going to help me with this next demonstration. I have here a little container of coffee that I've had for years, and yet it's still fresh because it's vacuum packed. No auction getting to spoil that stuff, right? Well, I'm going to vacuum pack a student, but of course, there's going to be a participant member here. And this is something I saw done <laughs> at a local ACS meeting in St. Louis. And I love this demonstration. Come right up here and stand right in there, Caitlin. OK. So how many people have seen this demonstration where you vac? OK. It's a fun one. Um, so I'm going to kind of pick up your feet there a bit. And this is a nice, tall bag. Don't get your head in there now, OK? <laughs> but you're going to kind of crouch over a little bit. And I've got a vacuum. This is just a little shop vac here. And whoop. we're going to prop this up here. Excuse me. And I'm going to hand this to Caitlin. And she's going to go like this. There's actually already a little cap on there, which is good. A little, but you're going to kind of go like this. Because you don't want the plastic to get sucked against that. Of course, there is no such thing as suction. But we'll come back to that thought. So crouch down a little bit there. OK, I'll make sure you don't fall off stage. <laughs> OK, again, when you do this with students, their head stays out of the bag. That's OK. That would, Flynn would agree with that, because that's safe science right there, OK? OK. How's that feel? Tight. Tight, she says, very tight. Lift your arms up. You can't fight your way out of a thin plastic bag, Clay. Come on, lift those hands up. Why? Why is that so tough? <laughs> uh. I know. You feel like you're being strangled. Well, where's that coming from? Well, we tend to take for granted. Thank you, Caitlin. Let's hear for Caitlin. We tend to take for granted the air around us, but you know, 15 pounds per square inch, roughly? That's a bowling ball on every square inch of your skin. You'd like to be being crushed. Now we're used to it. But here's my question. You felt like your arms are being squeezed in, like they're hugging you. Well, right now you got 15 pounds per square inch pushing on your arms, and you're not being crushed because you have air here pushing the arms out. We took that air away, didn't we? But this air on the outside of the bag was still there, and you really feel like you're being squished. I think that's mostly what it is, because you can't lift those arms up for the life of you. Ah, so there it is. Try that with your uh, students or <laughs> whatever.